Okay, well after a couple of eventful days here in Istanbul, Turkey, we're about ready to take off to uh, Cappadocia, Gourmet. And as you can see here with these buses here, they're all pretty nice. Um, I'm kind of surprised in Turkey that these buses are actually this nice. Buses are pretty good. They're a bit unusual. They're a bit like, uh, a bit like planes. They've got a couple of stewardesses or stewards wandering around the aisles. Give me a coffee or a Coke or a drink. But uh, they're pretty good, Joe. Yeah, they're really reliable, really comfortable, really enjoyable. Well, after a 12-hour bus ride and arriving in Gourmet, it's time to find some accommodation for the next few nights. I usually try to look for a place that has good vibe, good food, and hopefully cold beer. One of the things that makes the area of Cappadocia famous is its accommodations, where you can literally sleep in a cave room. After checking out your new room and putting your backpack away, it's time to order some breakfast. Have a couple of cups of coffee, Sit back and enjoy the view before heading off to explore Cappadocia. Cappadocia was once the heart of the Hiltai Empire, which lasted over seven centuries, later becoming its own independent kingdom and eventually a vast Roman providence that's mentioned several times in the Bible. These days, however, Cappadocia is all about tourism. People come from all over the world to visit this lunar landscape, explore its rock dwellings and surrounding valleys, or just simply gaze down upon the fairy chimneys. The cliff dwellings of Cavistan are about a three hour walk from Gourmet through Rose Valley. These dwellings dating back to the 13th century are often overlooked by most tourists, and it's just the kind of place that I'm always searching for. As you continue to walk around, you immediately begin to notice how vast of an area this is. You could try to see all of Cappadocia in a day, but this isn't something I could recommend. It's much better to try to allow yourself a few days here. You can easily spend the week and still not see everything. There are several different ways to explore Cappadocia. For you truly budget-minded people, there's always a local means of transportation. But if you find yourself with some extra cash, a hot air balloon ride could be an experience of a lifetime. 